A bus driver has been injured during fresh violence in East Belfast. Sinn Féin says a number of homes in the Nationalists' short strand came under petrol bomb attack. And community workers on the Loyalist side of the interface say a number of Protestant homes have also been attacked. Within the last 15 minutes, the area has been reported as quiet. Sharon O'Neill has the story. Police out in force again tonight as fresh trouble breaks out on the streets of East Belfast. This time on the Newton Ards Road and again at the interface with the Short Strand. Violence erupted at 7 o'clock tonight after Loyalists once again gathered. Sinn Féin says petrol bombs were thrown from the Loyalist side at homes in the Nationalist Short Strand and that children with special needs had to be evacuated from St Matthew's Parochial Hall. The vulnerable uh, children uh, with special needs had to be evacuated in a sheer state of panic uh, and fear as a result of what happened here tonight. Now, there's no, there was no uh, crowds gathered here, there was no protests at this particular location. It was at the opposite end of the short strand and this is the fallout once again uh, of what this community has had to endure for six weeks now uh, and th there's no doubt that they are at their wit's end. It isn't a case that one side is as bad as the other. There are people here who are determined to heighten tensions at the interface in East Belfast. One loyalist community worker blamed outside elements for causing the latest violence. I don't know where they're from, but I can't tell you. The people in this community here are absolutely sick, so and tar tired of it. They have <clears throat> had to suffer the brunt of this, and they're now suffering it with young lads coming. And I don't know whether they live in this area or what, because they're all masked up. But I can, you can rest assured, the people in this area don't want it. I had two or three residents come out and, and were crying and saying, here we go again, how much more of this can we stick? Within the last hour, there are reports that a number of Protestant homes have also come under attack. Bus services in the east of the city were also suspended and a driver was injured when loyalists hijacked two buses. All of this comes just hours after senior police and politicians once again appealed for an end to the violence. Sharon O'Neill, UTV Live tonight, East Belfast.